This video is going to be about the lysine and arginine ratio. Lysine and arginine are two amino acids contained in foods in varying ratios, some being higher in lysine, some being higher in arginine. Higher amounts of lysine to arginine can help fight viruses, can help the body form new collagen, improve calcium absorption, help with anxiety, improve cognition, improve blood pressure, it can help with blood sugar response in diabetics. It can help prevent cold sores. There's potential benefits for people with schizophrenia and positive effects on muscle strength. Some foods are higher in lysine. Some foods are higher in arginine. Both of these amino acids compete for absorption. Some studies have linked high arginine amounts to depression. High arginine foods can be balanced with high lysine foods. Some foods are higher in arginine but low in protein, so the overall amount consumed is less of a concern. Most meats, fish, dairy are going to be higher in lysine than arginine, and then grains, seeds, and nuts are going to be higher in arginine than lysine. Fruits and vegetables tend to vary. Now getting into the foods. By every food listed, there's going to be a number. That number is the ratio of lysine to arginine. So a 1 is 1 to 1, above 1 is more lysine than arginine and below one is more like arginine to lysine. So yogurt is about three, so that's three times the lysine to arginine. Dairy is gonna be the highest food. All of these, except for cottage cheese, above two. Human milk, just for reference, is 1.6. Um, the next highest food is fish. 1.55 for salmon, Pollock, whitefish, all very high. Once you get into the shellfish, they start to become more balanced or some even skew towards arginine. With meat, these are all going to be above one as well. Pork, chicken, beef, turkey, all of these 1.2 to 1.4. Eggs are going to be a one to one ratio with egg yolks being slightly higher arginine. For fruits, papaya, mango, apricots, apple, these have a very high ratio above two. Pears, figs, avocados, pineapple, peach, still high. Watermelon, we start to get into the one. Banana, one, almost one to one. Now this year is where we start to have the high arginine foods. So strawberries, still pretty close. Dates, pretty close. Oranges, plantains, blackberries, blueberries, grapes, and then orange juices. Pretty high in the arginine ratio. For vegetables, we have tomatoes, turnips, potatoes, celery, summer squash, green beans, cauliflower, spinach. All these still above one. Corn still above one. Sweet potato, asparagus. Then we get into broccoli, slightly below one. Collards, carrots, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, peas, cucumbers. These are where we start to get into the low on the ratios. Then we have beans. There are navy beans above one. Azuki beans, kidney beans, black beans, mung beans, lima beans, below one. Then we have chickpeas and lentils. Now into the foods that are going to be high on the arginine ratio just across the board. We start with grains, uh, barley being the highest in lysine, quinoa, wheat, corn grits, cream of wheat, bran flakes, rice, oatmeal, puffed rice. These are all pretty high in arginine compared to lysine. Then the highest is going to be nuts and seeds. So starting with cashews at 0.523. Then we have chestnuts, pumpkin seeds, macadamia nuts, peanuts, coconut, almonds, pecans. As you can see, these start to get pretty low in lysine compared to arginine. Then some other foods are going to be dark chocolate, coffee, Korean red ginseng, and there's an enzyme called arginase which your body uses to break down the arginine and high polyphenol foods inhibit this enzyme supplementation lysine is a heat sensitive amino acid so if you're cooking your foods at high temperatures or you're buying ultra pasteurized dairy there's a good chance a large percentage of that lysine is being destroyed and you're not actually getting it so try to cook your foods slow and low. Then there is a protocol that Linus Pauling had for people with vascular issues or heart issues, which was combining vitamin C with lysine, which these two are required for the body to make new collagen, specifically for the vascular system. Finally, some takeaways from this information 
is to learn which foods are high in lysine and which are high in arginine and try to balance these. So if you're going to have something like dark chocolate, if you were to have it with some dairy, uh, that's going to balance out. Or if you were to have some nuts and seeds, if you were to mix that with some cheese or some dried meats, that's going to raise the ratio of lysine to arginine. Try to minimize the overcooking of your food. A uh, slow cooker is a great option to make sure everything is cooked but not overcooked. And then consider supplementation, even for just a period of time. Uh, I'm not recommending any dosages, but what I take is one gram of lysine mixed with about 500 milligrams of vitamin C two times a day. This is just one aspect of health, but I think it is something that can be beneficial. So it's something to dig more deeply into on your own. And any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.